Welcome to Homeworld number 4, The Dream Waver's World. In the Dream Waver's World, there is a special cannon in the middle. The special cannon will shrink enemies uh, and grow them as well. So when, when the enemies shrink, you need to charge into them or flame them, depending if they've got armor or not. Kill this guy up ahead and break open these uh, chests. We're going to claim some more lifelines and kill a couple more enemies. Sweet. We're just going to quickly glide back across here, claim the three pieces of treasure that we almost missed, and then going on to the whirlwind. There's quite a large number of whirlwinds on this on this uh, home world. There is another enemy here. Charge into him and flame the chest. Go around here, collect the rest of the treasure without falling into the hole and ooh, destroy the rest of the chest and claim the next dragon up ahead. Alright, I'm just going to claim these pieces of treasure here and then the next dragon will be Latif. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. Indeed. There is a couple of uh, magic tricks in this uh, in this home world, especially in the uh, home world levels. There will be special uh, effects that you will have to do and all new missions to do in the home world as well. Including freeing dragons in a later level. In this level, we're just going to have to go around here, collect it for these pieces of treasure, and head straight up the stairs, which are here, and collect the rest of the treasure. There'll be another guy, I'll talk to him a little later, once we complete the rest of the levels in Homeworld number 4. We are now going to glide across here, and flame these guys, because the because the first of the cannon, which is up ahead, will grow them. Taking the rest of the pieces of treasure, and then we'll just casually float up to the top and ride through more whirlwinds. Now we're going to destroy the guy that's firing the shrink ray cannon, and then we will shrink the rest of the enemies around the area. <laughs> we do not want to fall off. Okay, we're going to shrink this guy up ahead. It's quite tricky to move the uh, cannon without using analog. Alright, we are shrinking him now. Oh, I was accidentally growing him. Need to go back around and somehow re shrink him. Oh, come on, get onto the cannon. Come on, Spyro. There we go. <laughs> sometimes it has, I sometimes have a couple of glitches and that tends to uh, make a couple of problems aiming the cannon with. This is the uh, chemo. The combo. Hello, Spyro. Nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nort. Indeed, we will be. That is dragon number 60. That is 60. That is a lot of dragons already. We are now defeating this enemy and the next one up ahead. We're going to flame a couple more of these chests and then continue up ahead. Two chests here to flame and one more enemy. There's an enemy up ahead as well after I collect these two hidden pieces of five treasure which is flaming him and when you flame that special enemy you'll get a little timer. That timer will give you, give you a small amount of time to collect the treasure and life up top. There is another bit of the uh, Dream Waver's home world where you need to flame two of them to unlock more stuff. Collecting the rest of the treasure and unlocking the final dragon of the area. Or to last. The fools you see in this world are invincible, but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds alright to me. That was Mazzy. Sorry about that. Okay, we're going to glide across here by hitting the uh, next three whirlwinds that will take us back to the start of the Dreamweavers home world. However, now we can go across to where the big method guards were and charge into them. 
just going to quickly glide across and hit the next teleport. Alright, now we are going to smash these guys and climb up the stairs. Going up those stairs, there will be another point to glide to. Couple of treat pieces of treasure there, and two of the uh, timer enemies to hit. These guys are pretty hard to hit in a row. You sort of need to hit them both at, at, the, at a similar point. Then quickly charge across and jump onto the platforms before they shrink back down. Alright, the we made that and now we're going to flame this chest here without getting hit and claiming the rest of the pieces of treasure on that section. I'm going to readjust my camera angle and claim the final pieces of treasure in the level. Sweet, and that is the level complete. Thank you for watching.